British Council is a cultural relations organisation. We connect people. We connect people from the UK to other countries and also within regions and globally. Uh, and as a global organisation, global challenges like climate change are an important uh, aspect of our work to bring people together to share understanding, to share ideas, to share new approaches and also to build bridges and build understanding on this particular issue. Because issues like climate change cannot be solved by just one country alone. We need to work together. And as a cultural relations organisation, we are ideally placed to bring people together into platforms where people can discuss these important issues and agree on actions to take. It has been three years since LRQA and British Council conceived and supported eIDEA. And it's amazing to see how what it has achieved so far and how everyone is talking about it. Now all these 40 e-idealists are gathered here in Indonesia to attend this workshop and we hope that this would be very useful for them when they go home and implement their own projects. Because we think to see our city is look better and to be green and to be matched with the cultures because like I mentioned our city we conserve like a long history of the cultures and we think if better if our city will be green and also can be matched with the Lana culture There are almost 900 million square meter square meters, uh, just uh, vacant roofs which we can use. So we think why don't we use this, uh, these roofs and how can we use them? Uh, we not only uh, for, our, uh, for our project, we aim to not only plant this, those uh, vegetables instead of flowers, uh, shrubs and uh, grass, but also we want to just integrate these uh, uh, rainwater storage system and uh, solar energy facilities to uh, make full use of these, uh, these, these things and uh, especially we want to get Shanghai more greener and uh, make a better environment for people who, people who living and working in this city. They have more, uh, more chance to close to the nature and uh, uh, it's good, uh, good for their health. I saw that uh one of uh, the biggest issues in Indonesia is about how we can reduce uh, the energy consumption of fuel. And then after I graduate, I see like that our transportation is one of the biggest uh, contributor about energy emission. Uh, and then I think we must to do something about that. Transportation is the second largest uh, contributor of energy emissions, uh, CO2 emissions actually, and then uh, with one car, we can reduce up to 0.79 ton CO2 per year. And our project is starting with 500 vehicles. And then we are going to expand it in, within five years into 100,000 vehicles that probably can reduce the emission about one gigaton CO2 per year. Sometimes we try to understand only very intimate society means only concerning about a human. But also we are kind of like a human is only single factor which consisting entirely whole society of the world. So we need to observe now more more carefully observe what's happening entirely our world. So basically what I designed is this this LED surgical lamp which runs off at a 12 volt car battery or a scooter battery and the scooter battery is recharged from a solar panel. The product is like flat packed so it starts out as this flat sheet of metal and then it's sent to wherever the, the field hospital is and then it's assembled into this shape and it, it lights surgery and it's very low cost and it's very sustainable all made out of one material. Lloyd Redis's mission 
to protect life, protect the environment, and make a difference to society. So if we can help these young entrepreneurs achieve their aims of recyclability, environmental protection, sustainability improvement, climate change, and help them make their voices heard, then we'll, we're fulfilling our mission of making more difference to society. So the more that we can do um, in terms of funding, the more that we can do in terms of management support, the more that we can do in terms of leadership support, then the more difference we can make to them and the more difference they can make to the world. I think it's a truly energetic and inspiring um, thing that we're doing with, this, uh, with, with the EIDEA concept. One way of differentiating what Lloyd's Register do compared to other organisations is the simple strap line. Other organisations do something to make money. We make money to do something. That's the difference with Lloyd's Register. So everything we do is with the ultimate goal of adding value to society. Everything that these entrepreneurs are doing is with the ultimate goal of adding value to society. So they're linked to us. And if we can help them achieve their goals, then we're achieving our ultimate mission as well, making a difference to society. It's been a really fantastic day. We've had um, uh, a number of presentations from the uh, e-idealists. And I think everyone feels extremely positive, not only about the, the content, but the way people have been uh, react, interacting, uh, communicating together. The Asia-Pacific region is absolutely crucial for sustainability. It is the most important area of the world. If you look at the population size in Asia-Pacific, you've got over half the world's population in, uh, in the Asia-Pacific area. If you look at just Southeast Asia, you've got 500 million people, which is you know about 10% of the world's population here. So actually, it already has a large impact on uh, the world in terms of greenhouse gas emissions, in terms of sustainability, but it's gonna have an even larger impact on the world. And the reason for that is that economic growth here is so high, uh, much higher than in parts of the world like Europe, that uh, over time, the population, the economies are going to grow. And therefore, it will have an increased importance in the world in the future. And that is why an event like this at the moment is so important and why decisions that are being taken at the moment are so important because you've got countries in the region of Southeast Asia that aren't large emitters, really, of greenhouse gases. But because they're growing so quickly, they could become large emitters in the future. And the decisions that they take at the moment will determine whether or not their economies in the future are based around fossil fuels and they emit a lot of greenhouse gases, or whether they try and go towards a low carbon economy, which means fewer emissions. So for this regional, for this regional um, launch of e-idea, we've, we've come to Indonesia to, um, to bring the e-idea winners from the Asian Pacific area. And I think Indonesia is a very important country in terms of tackling climate change. Um, when we look at issues around forestry and preserving forests, Indonesia has an important role to play. We also feel that Indonesia also is very much an entrepreneurship culture, that people are very interested in, in these particular issues. And by bringing e-idea winners to Indonesia, they have a chance to learn from some of the initiatives that are going on in Indonesia and also to see some of the impacts, the real impacts of climate change on, on countries like uh, Indonesia in the Southeast Asian region. So I think for the e-idea winners to come to, EI, to come to Indonesia, they have a chance to learn from the many initiatives that are going on in Indonesia and also to realise maybe some of the impacts that climate change is having on developing countries in this region. I think there's a lot of innovation here and thank you for the idea for make us meet like this.